a touch out of bed oh get out of my head it's a rush to the tongue oh you and only if you say so if you say so if you say so if you say so you know you know thing that you know when you say so oh you say so okay whatever Say so if you say so if you say so if you say so Hey hey doing my name is Anthony Snape I am a singer songwriter and I current uh, I currently um, am residing in Australia and uh, I had the wonderful pleasure of taking this baby out on the road, opening for Tommy Emmanuel on dates um, all across Australia this year. And so I thought it's kind of overdue that I did a little bit of a, a review, uh, that I did a little bit of a review on the Cole Clark True Hybrid, a guitar that I absolutely fell in love with uh, on the road. So um, let's start at the beginning. So here we have the Cole Clark True Hybrid, and it's called the True Hybrid because it is it is basically two guitars in one. So you've got the Cole Clark uh, acoustic pickup, and it's a hollow body, and so it sounds just like an acoustic guitar with the beautiful um, Cole Clark pickup in it. So let's have a listen to that alone. Uh, so... I'm just going to set it flat. So there's a little bit of a re reverb on this at the moment. Let me just take that off. Now, because the kind of music that I um, that I write, uh, I'm a singer songwriter, and I a lot of the stuff that I write is um, acoustic based. And then, um, then I produce it from there. So, um, what I was using the True Hybrid on the road for is I was driving the songs with the acoustic sound because it gives you that full range. And then I was adding in the electric sounds. But let's quickly have a listen to the acoustic sound. This is the straight acoustic sound. I'm going to mute the microphone so you can hear just the acoustic alone going through the Cole Clark pickup. So that's the acoustic only um, through the acoustic pickup. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the pickup itself. So all you can hear is what the guitar sounds like when you strum it in a room in front of a microphone. So this is the pickup turned off and you're hearing the guitar acoustically in the room. So, if I bring the microphone a little closer. You can hear that it's actually got quite a beautiful acoustic sound to the guitar. just acoustically in the room. I'll turn the pickup back on. So you're hearing Cole Clark pickup. 
and I usually like to add just a little bit of a slap delay on there. Room in the background. So, so when I was um, out on the road, the songs that I was playing uh, were very much sort of pop rock style. And one of my favourite songs to play, uh, and uh, one that I've been playing quite, for quite a while, is a song called Frequency. Now, the, uh, the hybrid has uh, a three-way switch at the bottom here where you can either choose to have just the acoustic pickup turned on. Um, it's Both signals are, are treated separately. So with the acoustic, I just have it running directly out in, straight, into the, uh, straight into the audio. Um, computer that I've got here or with the electric pickup I've got it running straight out and I'm running it into a let me quickly show you uh, one second this is my rig oh, for the Tommy shows um, and it's it's just a Mua a GE250 um, which, uh, you know, is an amplifier, a virtual amplifier, and then all the effects that I'd want um, just to run the uh, electric stuff. And then I also had a little loop station on the, on the board as well, um, so I could uh, play around with some of the loops in some of the songs that I was presenting on the show. Let's put this back in. But I found... I wanted something, the reason why I went with the Moor was because I wanted something fairly simple because I'm traditionally an acoustic guitarist uh, and vocalist and so I hadn't had a lot to do with electric guitars um, in the way of, you know, um, signal chains and all that sort of stuff. So I wanted something really simple that I could take in the road that I could actually fit in the bag. Um, anyway, so with, with this Moor, um, I was running three different sounds. Let's just hear the electric on its own. We'll hear the electric um, with this front pickup. <clears throat> so I was running one of the presets, and it's got um, you know the beautiful big long delay, and I've got it set up so when I loop, um, the delay time gets set depending on the length of the loop, which is really handy. And so what I found was really good is if I was using the, the acoustic sound, which is this one, playing this song, this is called Frequency. What I do to add a little bit of depth to the songs, I just roll in the electric pickup. So you get the best of both worlds. sort of play with it depending on what the room sounded like and um, and how much effect that I wanted on the end of the acoustic and it really helped create more of a dynamic performance frequency I know where the picture comes and goes static in my head all the words you once said Cycle starts again In spite of what goes wrong Your frequency I'm on Oh yeah Just created such a beautiful soundscape um, As you're playing along um, The other sound that I was using was, um, was this one But I mean, you've, you can pretty much process these sounds however you want, and what, whatever, you, um, whatever you need. Um, this is, it's, it's so um, versatile uh, and uh, it can basically make any kind of sound that you like. So the sound that you heard me playing at the beginning is just like a straight up a, a Texas blue, blues um, 
preset. And I found that if I put that back on the humbucker, you can split the humbucker on this as well by pulling out the, pulling this, and then that splits the humbucker in two. Gives you more of a sound that you can um, sort of fit in to recordings. Takes the sort of bottom end out a little bit, of mids. And then of course, you know, your regular switch here where you can split in between. This has got five um, points. You've got the humbucker alone, then the humbucker and the, um, the first uh, single coil, then the single coil alone, and then the blend of the two, and then um, the front um, single coil. Which, which I always found that the front single coil, I mean, I'm still experimenting and working out um, uh, different sounds for different songs and stuff, of course. But um, usually the, the front um, single coil is just really pure sounding and clean sounding. Um, and the further back you kind of go with the blend, um, it gets kind of rougher and um, more gritty, which is, which is a lot of fun. And then just you've got a tone knob and then a volume knob, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it is an absolute dream to play. I, uh, as a, as a singer songwriter, I haven't regularly been, um, any kind of a lead guitar player. Um, but what this allows me to do is set up a loop of some kind on the acoustic stuff. So... If I said that you were beautiful What would you say If I told you that you blew my mind oh. How does it feel To know the sunlight isn't even close To the way you brighten Anyway, you get the idea, you get to um, play around with it and I've, I've seen a bunch of guys do lots of different things and, and as um, I spend more time with this, um, obviously yeah, you get better at, um, at playing around with it and pulling different sounds and stuff. Um, I have a brand new uh, Cole Clark True Hybrid coming out, it'll be the Anthony Snape version. And um, unfortunately, they weren't able to get it up and running before the Tommy shows, um, but um, it will be here soon and it'll be a gorgeous black with white trim, basically the same electronics. It's going to sound incredible and you'll be able to get it from my website and all of the Cole Clark stores um, all over Australia and all over the world. So I'm super excited about this guitar. It is one of the most exciting guitars that has been built um, recently, and uh, and I think that if you got your hands on one of these, I think you'd be super um, super excited, and I think that you would spend you know hours and hours of your day playing the guitar, which is really <laughs> that's what, that's what we kind of want to do anyway, right? Um, but uh, I just thought I'd give um, take the opportunity to get on here and to talk a little bit about it and how much I've fallen in love with this guitar and. Um, and just give you a bit of an insight into how I was using it. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful. And um, if so, please subscribe and uh, click like and, and do all those wonderful things. And I will see you later. Okay, bye.